know exactly what I was. And myself too, I had no idea. Like um, my mom had told me I was half Jamaican, but that was wrong. <laughs> I'm not Jamaican. <laughs> I'm, Af I'm North African and Somali. <laughs> well, growing up on the Oshman First Nation, I was very sheltered from a lot of people. I always wanted to know what I was, where I was from. I wanted to know where my people came from. I wanted to know maybe I was just indigenous and I was just darker skinned and I didn't know all this time. I was hanging out with my friend one night and she had showed me her DNA test. And I was like, wow, I really need to do this. It turns out that I found, I found out exactly who I am, where I come from, right down to the tribes. But I had looked a little further into the app and I found that I had a little sister. We're a year and a half apart. So I immediately messaged her and we had got to talking. And once, my, once we got into contact with our uncles, uh, they were very excited. They paid for our flights to go visit them. So when I arrived, my sister and my uncle were waiting and we had a big hug. When we got back to the house, they had a, a supper and a meal waiting for me. My grandmother, when she realized what was happening, she came back out and like started, uh, we, all, we all hugged. It was really heartwarming to know that I was wanted, um, that I was loved and that I was accepted. It definitely raised my self-esteem to know that I'm not unwanted and I'm not, un I'm not this unwanted, unlovable person that my father 